Hello Cancers, it's your girl Prissy here to do your 18 and over sexual tarot reading. We're going to see what's happening in the first half of the month, the second half of the month, and see how we're leaving the month, okay? If you want to dig a little deeper, we'll have extended readings in the description box down below for you too. So we're going to shuffle some cards, see what we have going on for you. Just remember that tarot is for guidance and entertainment purposes only, therefore not responsible for what you do after your reading, however, I'm here for you. All right, what do we have going on for you? My lovely Cancers. Cancer, we have Eight of Pentacles. Someone is making you put in the work here, okay? And now you're trying to figure out if this is something that you want for your future. You're like, am I always going to have to be the one on top? Am I always going to have to be the one doing the things? I don't know. Like, what if I want to, you know, be the one to receive, okay? So we have a little disappointment coming in when it comes sexually. And now you have all these other people. They're like, hey, what are you doing today? What are you doing tonight? Blah, blah, tomorrow, blah, et cetera, et cetera, right? And now you're kind of thinking about going over there and seeing what they have to offer because you're like, listen, with this person over here, I keep putting in all this fucking work. Is it worth it? I don't know because... And you feel like you're screwing yourself over because it's like the same thing, same shit, different day, right? Like, cock a doo to doo <laughs> Here I go. Me doing the work yet again. Right? So then going into this over here, now you're like, let me go see what's over there. So going into the second half of the month here. Now you're overthinking about it because now we have a true contender playing here and someone who is, uh, I don't know, worth putting in the work for. But you're like, but I already, the whole point was for me not to put in any work. See, the whole point was for me not to have to do anything. Um, but what's happening instead is like things kind of just came a full circle and now you're just doing the same thing with someone else. Then what? But this person is different. This person is not stressful. This person is healing me in other ways, maybe manually, right? Um, that was a horrible wink, by the way. <laughs> healing you manually, and you're like, I want to hold on to this one. So there's a new person in the mix here. And it's almost like as I'm doing your reading... The other person is like irrelevant. The one from the beginning. It's like they're irrelevant. All my focus is on this new one now. This new one's a little mean. But she knows what she's doing. Or he. you right. Or he knows what he's doing. They got a little smug face though. Let's keep going. This other person has people around them too it's like everyone wants a piece of them and now you're like no i'm gonna go fight for it so let's go into the sexual cards here because now we have some action happening with this new person and we, i want to know what it is about them what it is that they're doing that's keeping you mesmerized almost right What is it about them that does it for you? Do one more. Okay. This person is very open-minded, okay? Um, this person is more adventurous sexually. And they might even be poly, right? Um, because I keep seeing more than one person involved here, but it's like they're all in the same act together. So this could be a situation that, or they might be, um, like a swinger or something like that. They're just like very open with everything. There's plenty of love to share, to go around. How do you feel about that? And you can't stop thinking about them. You do want them to cut it down to one person, to you. Um, but you can't stop thinking about them. 
And you're like, wow, I've never met a person that's, you know, so great, so open, so adventurous in the bedroom. I feel like this person can teach me some things. So how are we leaving the month here? The extended reading is going to be about this new person. How are we leaving the month? Yeah. See, like, this new person has, like, a bunch of kinks. And like I said, they're more adventurous. They're more open about their sexuality. Um... Because we have the furries over here, so they might literally be into that, into foreplay and dressing up and everything. Um, but at the same time, this person is not someone to be messed with, okay? It's like they, it's almost like they're your match in a way, right? So when you're not with them, you're thinking about them. And, you know, they might be into all those things, but it's almost like empowering to you. It doesn't make them weak or it doesn't make it anything. It makes it like, wow, this person loves who they are. And I love who they are. This person doesn't make me wait. That might be something that was going on earlier. Where it was like, no, I don't want to. I'm tired. Or no, you know, whatever. When In the beginning of the reading... Now this person's like, yeah, let's go here. Let's go there. Let's go have sex in this park over here. Let's go have sex there. Um, let's go meet up with these people. They're always out and about. And you love that. Okay. So we're going to go into the extended here. I'm going to pull some cards on the extended. We'll use the Zodiac 108 for this one. On this new person because I want to see how they feel about you because you're infatuated with them right at this point you're like this person is it they're doing all the right things I love how open they are so how do they feel about you what are their desires including their sexual desires what are their intentions with you Do they have someone else that they're committed to? We talked about them having other people, but do they have someone they're committed to? What are potential obstacles with this person? Any potential obstacles with this person? Remember we talked about how you wanted to... For them to cut it down to one person, it just being you, right? So will they be willing to commit to you? And last but not least, a final outcome for you two. All right, Cancer. So if you want to dig deeper into this person, these are going to be your cards. And we're going to clarify all of these. This is going to be your extended reading. Um, I hope to see you in the next one. All right. Bye.